Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron and Plays Hand of Fate 2. Last time we completed the Hermit. So next up we have the Wheel. Tempting Fate, success in any gambits will aid your quest. Road ahead may be long, bring food. You'll need gold to survive the trials, okay. Hmm, whoops. So who do we want for gambits? I feel like I have the worst luck in the cards, but at the same time, I don't feel like those are... I don't think Ariadne's ability is super great in that, so probably the next hardest one... Skill base, at least, is this one. We haven't used Estrella yet. And we'll take, um, as usual, we'll take tokens if, where possible. So I do know how to deal with the old maiden, I think. Um, the real question is, do we have? Does the cottage just show up? I'm not entirely sure on that. Oh, waterfall view. There we go. Yes, we need that to show up. Um, and let's see, let's grab the rest of the tokens here. Uh, Anders, oh, okay, I'll do the mayor, can't do that one. Deadly forest? Uh, we can do that. We'll probably just go Elder's Gift, honestly. Um, this is kind of super useful. And we'll take um, some of the new cards. All right, equipment. We have new equipment. Scorched blade, golden shield. Oh, we haven't taken Lionheart yet. Will of the Emperor, Imperial armor, jousting armor. Ooh. Maybe we want Grifter's Companion. That sounds like it's... Um, like a money sort of thing. Uh, what else do we want? Do, oh, this would actually be really good too. And... Should really put a weapon in here. Or another weapon, rather. We don't know what kind of enemies we're going to be dealing with. Um, we haven't used the billy clubs yet, I don't think. Let's go with those. And then we can take only two supplies. Oh my. Fate's Path. Reveal all encounters when you reach the stairs. Ooh. That must be a blessing. I actually really like that. Uh, what weapon? We should start with a weapon that's... I can potentially unlock. Maybe we'll start with the sword, because we have... Oh no, we have... Wow, the axe is the only thing we don't have in the deck. I guess we'll start with the sword. Hopefully we can... We'll face northerners. I really have no idea. Doesn't actually say... Um... But we'll go with this. Fate turns through all of our lives. We can choose when to spin the wheel, yet not where it lands. Anger, pain, wrath. These are the powers that propel us when faith, love, and truth have failed us. You wake one night to a shimmering orb hovering over you bathing your surroundings in a silver light. Three figures appear in the glow. The tallest one speaks. Despite her tossed tone, her voice fills the room. Rise, hero. Rise and free us from our eternal prison. And who are they? Mortals have many names for us. Genies, jinns, or deities. But we are none of these. We are the watchers of the weave. The fates of all things are ours to know. Why? Why me? 
Pyro speaks, his voice booming from beyond his long beard. To free us, you must travel beyond the mortal realm. We can guide you, but you alone must master the whims of fate. A with a laments. We are not the only ones who see the strings tied to every mortal. Long ago, a mage saw himself as a puppet master and not a marionette. We do not stand for our interference, so he trapped us here beyond the mortal gates. How can we free them? We are not in your mortal realm, but somewhere beyond. We can bring you part of the way, but you alone must prove yourself a master of fate. Some are supple and bend to fate's will, while others are left broken. The three siblings join hands and begin to chant. There is a moment of discomfort and rushing sensation. When your vision clears, you feel like you are floating. Far below, you see your body. Still safely asleep beside the fire. Prove yourself and you will open the path to our prison. Gather fate shards to free Ewa, Haro, and Gario. This intervention will have alerted our jailer, the Black Knight. We need 50 shards of fate. The longer you take to get here, the stronger the knight will be. Oh dear. A magician still operating in these lands? A brave decision, and one I hope keeps him in good health. You enter the workshop of the Enchanter. He specializes in adding magical powers to items, especially those that bring health and fortune to adventurers. You can enchant one of your items. Be warned, any existing enchantment will be destroyed. No suitable equipment cards upgrading for upgrading the inventory. Bummer. These All right, pickpocket. Yeah, we'll do this. The expansion of the game. More options. More cards. More opportunities. All right, we got three there. All right, know where the... This is the pain card, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, let's do one more. Might be this one? Damn it. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Now, can we go back to this? No. Bummer. Oh, it's the old maiden. Oh, the shit. flies are running low. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We found her already. The Elder's Gift. Here we go. This is Grifter's companion. Every game comes down to finding an edge. Ooh. So this is wheel nudge. Optionally nudge the result on the next card during a wheel game. That's going to be super useful, I bet. And of course, we gain eight fame. Healing in a Healer. place like this always carries a price. Uh, buy information. Cast the whispers of their travels. Oh, I bet this, um... Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Let's buy food instead. Whoops. I'm assuming buying information just reveals cards. <laughs> There's the waterfall of youth. Bummer. Oh, I totally lost that. Yeah. Yvette greets you at the door, baby. Vaughn is cooing quietly on a blanket on the kitchen floor. A meal of beef pie and potatoes. Well, we do gain three food. Baby Yvonne crawls under the dining table, babbling sweetly to herself as you take your leave. Alright, so there's the stairs. Holy relic. More challenges. More questions. More truths. Each level you progress through will increase the difficulty of the final encounter. The golden staircase stretches up to into the mist. The Black Knight waits patiently at the summit. It will call us to each stair you climb, gives him time to bolster his defenses or thwart your progress. You must gather the shards of fate as quickly as possible. So I don't even think we can fight the boss until we get 50, or maybe Across we run out of room. Years, almost every true artifact of power has been lost. What used to be a lavish monastery has taken a major hit from a recent raid. A monk laments, it's a shame about the missing gold, but it's even greater tragedy that they've stolen our holy relic. We volunteer to search. Estrella picks up an artifact some ways from the monastery. It must have been overflowing with gold to leave this behind. Oh, yeah, Will the Emperor deals 150 damage to a random enemy thief when activated. Wrath now, eh? That's pretty sweet. Oh my! 
You follow a trail of abandoned trinkets to find the northerners. Northern raiders sleep on top a pile of treasure in conspicuous forest clearing. We could alert the authorities, take the violent approach, or take the stealthy approach. Um, what did we need for the soldiers thing? Which were post northerners. Oh, let's take the violent approach. Choose a card to discard. Uh, we'll get rid of the trapper. Manage to take out one of the raiders before the others wake. Wiping sleep from their eyes, they jump to arms. Captain fighting on your side. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, aren't you flashy? Having only ever known military life, his struggle's high rank and fame were justly earned. When activated, a struggle performs powerful attacks and causes knockdown. All right. If we cannot protect the holy, we have lost everything. Oh, oh boy. Oh, she knocked one of them down. The Berserkers are going to be hard to... Oh, that gave me a lot of opportunities, actually. did not realize I could do it in between swings like that. In fact, I'm pretty sure it actually says that on the item, and now I understand. This is good, so we're going to make progress on this. Oh, I actually didn't uh, res her there. There we go. It's cool that there's animation for that too. Making me feel a lot more confident about these uh, counters as well. Whoops. And then I immediately miss one. <laughs> Sounds about right. Nice. Alright, we got a handful of the counters there, so that's good. Definitely want to try to unlock these weapons when I can. Haul the stolen items back to the monastery. The monk grabs the carved sapphire hat from you as soon as you return. The holy relic! It was far more than gold to us, so please take the rest as your reward. 15 gold, nice. Hey, another 20 gold, damn. All right, well, we do have to advance here and we have zero shards of fate so far. Not promising. Climb the first step. Far above you, figures step from the void and fall in line behind the Black Knight. Great. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Um. Yeah, let's go. I'd rather deal with trappers, I think. Perhaps you should have taken your time. Fate has chosen an ally for the Black Knight. Though I am now blind to the weave, the, the weave of fate, I'm sure your faith in you is well placed. Card will join the Black Knight in the final encounter. Okay. General store. What we got? Oh, okay, so we can see his Imperial armor. Adds plus twenty max life when you have a one-handed weapon equipped. Shuffle less. Chance card gamut shuffle once less down to a minimum of one shuffle. Ooh. Scorch Blade. Ah, oh, it's a Flame Strike. And the Golden Shield. On effective in combat, this item is very valuable. Oh. So it's just basically good for finding. What's the Gambler's Jewel? Plus two on dice. Um, I like the idea of the Imperial Armor. So we'll buy that. You may take their garb, but hopefully not their ideas. Um, I'm tempted to sell something to get... I don't think we can, though. I'd have to sell too much. Uh, can't afford any food either. Well... Could sell the Will of the Emperor to get some food. Probably a good idea, honestly. 
me. If we deal with thieves, we deal with thieves. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. But I'd rather be ahead of the game on food. Alright. Deadly forest. Sure. Shadowy beasts descend from the trees and tear at your flesh. Great! Awesome. Wonderful. Fearing for your life, you flee the forest. Well. Still don't know how we do that. Maybe it's a fame thing? Like a flame, Wheel of greed. You are never satiated until you have consumed all. It's a greed that leads mortals to degrade each other in the pursuit of coin, Gario whispers in your ear. Thin strands of silver smoke ensnare you like the jailer's chains, or like jailer's chains. Perhaps we were all equally damaged, and we labeled those with better understanding greed to appease our envy. Give in to greed, and fate will reward you. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we do, because... We don't have, we only have four gold. I mean, you know what? I probably should have taken the bigger. You don't have enough gold. Oh, okay. Well, this night is merely a tool of the fates, but this is a tool that can still cut deeply. It was voice rings in your ears. No one defies fate and goes unmarked. What punishment would you endure to reweave the tapestry in your own design? Suffer two wound to gain six fate shards. Duel the Black Knight for 40 seconds to gain five shards. Suffered one curse to gain six. Two wound, I'm assuming, is two pain cards. Your body breaks. You hope the sacrifice was worth it. Ooh, I did not realize that would potentially be food and gold. Wheel of Greed again. Unfortunately, <gasps> the wispy chain snap and disappear. You have not a penny to your name, Gariel says forlornly. A pauper cannot be our savior. Make haste and enrich yourself. You lose four fate shards. This is not going well. A leader must be strong for their people, or they have failed. All right, Forsaken weeps the mayor as he packs a sizable collection of handkerchiefs into a large trunk. They gave me this backwater town. I thought I'd be king. Now look at me, not even a fair warning. Strong chastises the flustered old mayor. You're supposed to lead these people. Will you not stand for them against the empire? A flicker of recognition crosses the mayor's face. Oh, the peasants will have to leave their entire livelihoods behind. Then he returns to packing, attempting to squash some golden buckles into the near-bursting travel case. Strella sighs and leaves Farwater's mayor to make his shameful getaway in peace. This was my home, you know. She draws her pistol and begins to polish it absentmindedly. She explains that an Imperial Legion intends to use the town as a stronghold in their war against the North. Estrella was assigned to break the news to the mayor and the townspeople. They must pack what they can and leave. Leave the Empire means to punish me for defying orders during the corruption outbreak in the Old City. I'll surely be trying for treason if I do not comply this time. Um, yeah, what's gonna happen to the villagers? Estrella's lips narrow. The city is already crowded to the battlements with people. Many of the Old City refugees had to leave and seek shelter elsewhere. And that is by the capital. There is little nearby but forests in Northern Territory. Can't imagine where they'll go. Um, she have any family here? No, they're all dead. Shaw says matter-of-factly. Far from war, mostly. Such is the risk of having a family of soldiers. Though I believe I have a distant aunt married to some minor lord across the sea. Uh, what happened? You were there, Shaw gives you a worried look. We were locked in the old city with hordes of corrupted. Many people died, remember? Yeah, unfortunately. Shaw paces back and forth. The gold empire pins of high office glinting on her belt. Perhaps it's not so bad. It's the nature of war, I suppose. The mayor is useless here, of course, but I know of someone who could help the peasants. Familiar confidence returns to her face. She sees her pistol and stands. Oh, and we are going to visit the peasant king. Well, ah, huh, and we get her token there. Interesting. The doing will well. persist unless you can find a meal to relieve yourself. Gariel appears into a vision of silver light. I do not have eyes, yet I perceive fate's hand. Do you see the world as it truly is, or is your vision clouded? Great. 
Alright. You cannot determine where your own hand ends and fate's whims take over. Oh boy. What true fate's whim. Lies in dreams, eh? Once more, your sleep is interrupted by silver smoke and a vision of Aewa, mistress of fate. You sigh and pack up your bedroll as she begins to speak. I am Aewa, mistress of fate. I observe fate's whims and help my brother and sister guide people toward their destiny. Fate is not solely chaos and chance. My brother, my brother Harrow, weaves the tapestry of life with your memories and dreams. It's like four encounter cards. No, we don't want this one. Um, I actually can't see Holy Relic or Helpful Priest, I think, is what we want here. Ewig sends her hand to you in an elegant motion. Tiny ethereal figures dance and cavort in her palms. Gradually, you realize you're watching events from your own past. This is the weave of your life's tapestry that we shall re-examine. I hate them, even when they're helpful. Look you down your luck. Here, have my lucky coin. Perhaps it'll bring you greater fortune than it did me. You get 12 gold. Nice. Anger. You and I must both cultivate our anger. For Callus lies at the end of our quest. And we will need to be white hot in our rage to defeat him. The Wheel of Rage. Haro appears before you in a vision of silver. People claim that they fight for freedom, for coin, to protect the weak. The truth makes liars of them all. They fight... Is inside their hearts burn in unquenchable rage. You are to free us. You must not just be a skilled warrior, but prepared for whatever fate may set in your path. Alright, here we go again. Holy crap, that one's spinning fast. Horde of Skulls. Um, I think I'd rather actually fight the Blight. Even though there's more of them. No righteous battles without a limitation on time. A lover in peril, a comrade suspended from the hangman's noose. Fate will decide the sand and the hourglass. Oh dear. Go one left here for 120 seconds. You're not the first hero to attempt these trials. What separates you from the others? Defeat all enemies within 120 seconds. That's a lot of enemies for 120 seconds. Good thing I have that ring, or I'd probably be dead already. Oh, it's gonna give us the dialogue or the. Oh, I really like that chess piece. Soldier's sword. Every hero must have a heroic sword by their side. This, however, is utterly ordinary. Alright, Stroud, let's go. Wow, she nailed that one real fast. She's actually ready again. Just go over there and have her trigger that. We should be able to make this one, no problem. These are actually far weaker than I was uh, anticipating. I am taking a fair amount of damage though, so I do need to be a little careful. Oh damn it, I tried to get my special off there and didn't make the timer. Or should I say make the timing? Oh, that one's still alive. There we go. Alright, took way more damage than I should have, but we got through it. Gain equipment. Oh, uh, you have the golden shield or the scorch. Oh, you know what? We should take the golden shield actually, so we can sell it. I mean, the scorch blade is is really good, but or potentially really good, but we definitely need um, need some money. We getting ten food. Thank God. Four fate shards and four fame. Well, that certainly went a hell of a lot better. Um. Can we get healing in camp by any chance? How much is this golden shield worth? 50 gold! Yes, absolutely. 
could buy the Gambler's Jewel. We haven't had to roll any dice yet, though. Um, but yeah, we will, just in case. We'll buy some food. I'll save the rest of my money. And we'll probably cook a little bit, too. Cook three, I guess. Save the rest. Alright, this is the last uh, step on this floor. Yeah. It's the Black Knight again. I mean, I'm assuming if we just get to the end, we'll be able to fight the Black Knight and get a silver if we succeed, but... Um... Let's go with the Anarchist, actually. Um, I imagine we'll be able to succeed. It's just that... Um, Clearly you oh, yeah, that's, that's probably still fine. Boy, this is not a lot of cards to get 50 shards. Deadly Forest. What happens if we make camp here? Oh, now we roll dice. Okay. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Uh, we should be able to do this if I don't roll terribly. Never mind. Rolled even worse. All right. Hmm. Give the help helpful priest half of our food? We really can't. Sorry. The old maiden again. Can you claim this token? Um, we need supplies. Interesting that showed up again. Elder's gift showed up again. There's nothing there, though. Ah, uh, I fail again anyway. But we should get more food, yeah. Oh, the mayor of... Oh, this is really weird that these are showing up multiple times. So the mayor of Farwater, yeah, we've seen this before. Healer. Uh, we could buy some more food. Uh, you know what though? We kind of need that gold. We'll just leave it. We're already going to be on the third floor. This is not good. Take the third step. The night gestures and you feel a strange tingling in your fingertips. Whoa. Uh-oh. Lone wolf. What does this do? The cursed mage granted this... His knight, many methods to inhib inhibit your answers. This curse will be drawn before the final encounter. So I bet it takes away Estrella. The old maiden again. I have I gotten myself into a loop, or I'm assuming we're gonna fight the dude at the end of this one, the healer. So I think I understand. I understand this now. Essentially that we see the same cards frequently here, um, but we need cards that are going to give us um, fate. Alright, we can do this now. Nice. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we gotta go again. But this one's gonna be super fast. I have no idea. It's either this one or this one. Damn it. I was totally wrong. Yeah. Boy, that's. The last one's pretty difficult. Deadly Forest. Sure, we might as well. Yeah. We need to reroll both of these. Nope. Wow, that was one of the worst rolls I could have gotten. I wonder if we get shards of fate for winning those. Fate's path. Um. I wonder if we're trapped. I cannot say that I see the point in taking Holy Relic again to retrieve false idols from a false cleric. 
Right, will the emperor. Your own choices. Uh, we'll take the violent approach. Knock out the shaman. Does give me a chance for more of the uh, the reposts at least. But yeah, I wonder if I've gotten myself into a loop now where, <laughs> where like I can't possibly succeed and it's just gonna cycle endlessly until I die or get those 50 shards. So those 50 shards may just never happen is the problem. I was gonna do a third one there. Estrella is uh, not faring very well. Yeah. At least we're getting those built up pretty quickly. Ah. Uh, I didn't actually count though. Actually, I'm gonna have her do this. You know, it's lowering my chances to get counters, so just, I don't want to die either, or take unnecessary damage. Nice, okay. We got quite a few on that one, I think. I think we'll get some gold from this. Which is good, but not solving the problem. Oh, it unlocked! Nice! Alright, well at least we're making progress on that. Um... What do we else we got here? Waterfall of Youth. I might as well try it to see if succeeding it gives me shards. If I can manage to not fail. Alright, this one. Yeah, there we go. As yeah, Citrine Bile, Potion of Youth. Uh, we get the food. Does it give me shards though? It does not. I mean, we'll go, but... Taking too long to acquire the fate shards, you have failed to win the gold token. Okay, that's understandable. But can we still get the silver token? From your grasp once more. Powerful ally. How many? Oh, shaman of frost. The mortal realm contains many powerful allies for the black knight. You must hurry, lest he conjure another. Is this going to continue? Oh my god. What is Fate's favor? Okay, here we go. Do Test your perception. These spirits oh, sell God. you on their fancy. Are Truth is never so clearly cut. Are you for real on that one? Yeah. How was I supposed to get that one? <laughs> it's impossible. Fate swim. Oh, this is going very poorly. Oh, we actually want the old maiden on this one. We'll nudge it. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. You have something I desire. Give it to me and in exchange I'll offer you something no mortal has ever beheld. Give her the potion of youth. She pours the entire contents of the vial into her mouth. And we get the token. Oh, the maiden. Wow. Within moments, the potion takes effect. The old woman transform into, transforms into a youthful maiden. Thank you for your generosity, mortal. Now I may continue helping your kind for centuries more. Please take my offering. Gain eight fame. And an elven ring. Beginning of every new map, draw a plus one blessing card. If you have two plus blessings, choose one to discard. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we will ask for supplies. I'm guessing this is the final map, at least I hope it is. Uh, Fate Swim again. 
four encounter cards. I mean, these are good. Uh, we're probably gonna go with Mage's Workshop. Can you enchant anything? Here is a man with a particular set of powers turned to mere trade. There are no gold food. The powers of the universe to his will, and instead, he serves you. There are no gold food, health, or max life. Oh, maybe you would use one of those like supply cards. Guy, I'll test your perception. Yeah, you gonna troll me again? Really? I mean, it doesn't. Oh wow. Okay. Wheel of Greed, here we go again. Oh, we have a ton of money this time, though. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. I'm curious if this will only give me three shards. You have at least three gold, gain four shards. Okay, so it's it seems like a static number of shards. Wheel of Rage. Okay. Ideally, if we can find some northerners here. Nope. Uh, General of Steel, we can just fight this. He's pretty easy. Uh, but we do want a lot of time, if possible. 90 seconds, that's fine. Defeat all enemies in 90 seconds. It should only be him as well, so this shouldn't be that bad. I'm probably gonna see... I mean, this is turning into a long episode, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead with this one. See where we end up. Oh, I forgot about that. Damn, he has a lot of unblockable attacks. Not a lot of health, though, that's for sure. Gain equipment. Uh, the Frontier Barbute or the Billy Clubs. What are the Billy Clubs again? Thieves of the Finisher. Now we'll definitely take this. Hey, we gain a health potion too. Back to full health. Fate's Choice. Suffer five wound to gain nine shards? Are you for real? I honestly feel like we need to take the curse. Because if, if we have to duel the Black Knight, I don't know if that means fight his actual encounter. Because if it is, he's got a lot of people with him. Five wound could actually remove all of our food. Yeah, we're just going to take a curse. Platinum gain cards have no effect. That's fine. We actually have none of those in the deck. It claws of hunger. the belly and thrusts one into truth. Fate's hunger must be sated. Should the meal nourish the need or fatten the opulent? It is not for us to know. Fate will decide. Okay, we'll go with the five. But this should give me some shards. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Move faster next time. It's fine. Alright, Fate Swim. They're all Fate cards, aren't they? Oh, General Store. What do you got for me? Is this a, um... We don't have any Precision ones, do we? Last Chance. We're just going to let us retry and Precision Gambit. Um, honestly, I don't think we want any of these. Oh no, you know what? We should take this sword. Yeah, this is more damage. 
Boy, it's really not much more damage, is it? Well, that may help you on the road ahead. Wait, what just happened? Because <laughs> I unequipped the one-handed weapon, it dropped my max life by 20 and then increased it again, but now I'm it didn't refill it. That sucks. Oh well. Um, we could sell the soldier's sword. I mean, we're not using it. Everything else I think we want to keep. Uh, I don't think we want to buy anything right now. Just leave. Alright, Fate Swim. Ooh, Deadly Forest we don't want. Alright, Holy Relic or Helpful Priest. Holy Relic gives us... Let's go Helpful Priest. Hopefully he doesn't want half our food. Damn it. I'll just decline. Wheel of Hunger. Hmm. Maybe I should have bought food. Two Wheels of Hunger! Okay, we need to try to get this three food one. Uh, close enough. Yeah, we got it. I'm assuming if we refuse to give food, then we'll get hit, so... Yeah, that's not good, though. I think we want to avoid... Wheel of Rage. Find the steps. Go to the next level. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Lose one equipment? That's not good. Oh, I'll be drawing the final encounter. Oh my god. Where is the final encounter? In combat lose. Boost life to 75 when life drops below 25, then discard this card. Nice. Blessing we got there. Suffer six wounds! That's just not right. We can't. It has just, it's just too likely to dump all of our gold or all of our food. No, we'll just take another curse. I mean, I gain a blessing while you have more blessings and curses. Bummer. Did it get Fate's Path, though? Uh, no. We're gonna stay here for now. Wheel of Anger. Mm. I'd rather fight a terror of blight than thieves. There we go. All enemies within 120 seconds. This should be doable. I think. Because I think it's just going to be the one enemy, right? Eh, it might be a few, actually. Should get a close-up of our sword as well. Should be nice. Hmm. That's a sweet-looking sword. The Inquisition tortured Equia for black magic or burning him at the stake. His sword survived, and some say he still dwells within. Well, that's horrifying. On my mark. Still has armor, huh? Oh, it's already dead. Yeah, that one's probably the easiest, honestly. Allies return. Oh, that was gonna be a blessing, except. Yeah. We gained four fate charge for that, at least. Um, Wheel of Greed, yeah, we can do that. We'll try to get a uh, low value if possible. Wheel. 
each different, yet each bearing their own yeah, similarities. Yeah, five's good. Perhaps you should have taken your time. No, no, we're good. All right, that is fate's whim. Um, I'm hoping we can get the helpful priest here again. I don't think he's there though. Oh, the old maiden. Oh, that would be good. No, no, we want this. Um. Yeah, we definitely want the old maiden. And we'll take supplies. Good. Five more food. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna. I oh, don't know. We're not gonna go to that card. Um. Question is. Uh, I think we have to go Wheel of Hunger. It sucks, but... Um, land on two. Nice. I'm getting pretty good at these, I will say. I only get two shards, though. Man. That's your perception. Is this going to be trolly? Fantastic again? Sure is. I mean, I have no idea who's <laughs> five shards. That one's just absurd. Wheel of Hunger. Oh, we have no food. Um, I don't really want to buy food. Climb the steps. <laughs> Every stair not costs you immedi immediately. Give up fame or draw pain. Can we survive six pain cards? No, we don't. No, we don't need fame. Who cares? Yeah. What's that? Cost me seven. Yeah, we don't need fame. Balanced spirit is kicking my butt on those blessings, though. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. Can we survive seven wounds? Like, I guess if it's... We'll try it. That puts me very close. Yeah, see, these don't matter because we don't have... Visit oh, a campfire. oh, no. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Food! You can hit those all day. We don't have any food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pickpocket. Uh, we will definitely do at least two of these. Or I could be terrible and hit the second one. Oh boy. Fa okay, so we know where we have to go. We should probably start heading directly there. And we need to buy food. Um. We're not dealing with dice. Sell it. What's the equipment here? Jousting arm. Alright, buy food. It's expensive, but we need it. Yeah, it's basically robbery. Fate swim, good. This is good. Helpful priest. Well, we can't do anything with that one. Uh, no, we want. We want the healer. Oh, we don't have a choice anymore, right? What curse removal? Lose eight. F yeah. Get rid of balanced spirit. Um, how much is food? Yeah, 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 I'll buy ten or three food. And how much for healing? Thirty-five life for fifteen gold. Done. All right. I feel like we still need four more shards somewhere, Create though. Mage's Workshop, we can't do anything with. Of your own abilities. 
always with the artifacts. This is probably by your betters. Not gonna. Oh God. Should I have my ring back? Wheel of Greed we can do, but we're going to need to sell. I don't think I thought that through. Um, we can sell Will of the Emperor. We can sell Elven Rings. We need to get off this. We need to be done on this floor or I'm going to die. We gotta... Please land on seven. Okay, good. We can afford that. Please give me four shards. Oh, thank God. Holy crap. Alright. I mean, I might just flat out die here. Like, this dude might just kick my ass. Fate's finale. Now you reap all that you have sown. Now death comes for you in a score of forms. The golden stairs give way to solid stone. You find yourself face to face with the Black Knight. You are on a mountaintop cloaked in silver fog. Awa, Harrow, and Gariel materials beside you and smile. You have pierced the veil and so the Black Knight comes to defend his realm. Defeat him and free us, champion. Fate has provided the Black Knight with more protection. Trapper of Frost. Anarchist of Greed, Domnifrost, no companion, and we also lose equipment. <gasps> we lose the Imperial Armor, which loses 20 health. Oh. This is going to be really hard. Um, the Anarchists agreed, I think we can take care of, though, because we do have that horn. So I think we can knock them out. Damn, he's pretty sweet looking. He's wearing my armor! Protector of prisoners being held beyond this mortal realm. A mighty foe and mighty armor that must be bashed off before he can be killed. Oh, we don't have the horn anymore. I sold it, didn't I? Unfortunately, that Shaman of Frost is going to be an issue. I think we have to kill that first. Or try to, at least. Oh, damn. I did not choose smart enemies for this. Okay, he double attacks. Alright, where are we going? Oh, for Christ's sake. I, I just I gotta kill this thing. Okay, it's dead. Now we can actually start killing enemies. Everything is so fast. Alright, that blessing just saved my ass, that second wind. Oh, I'm glad you can't fall off the cliff. So fast! I got caught. That's bad. We're, uh, we're in a lot of trouble. I think if I die on this, I'm probably gonna, uh, do a cut to, uh... To this encounter, because, good god, this is a long mission. I mean, I think I can beat him once he's by himself. I just gotta survive that long. This fire sword is actually amazing, by the way. That's, um, that's unfortunate.
Wow, he has just a ludicrous amount of armor. by success on the table. All right, well, we're gonna go through our tokens here and then I'm actually gonna cut, uh, I'm gonna play this again and I'll splice in the winning fight against the, uh, against the knight because, man, that's a long mission. But we get some coins at least. Peasant king. Fine sword. You made me. Wow, that is actually brutal. All right, sit tight. All right, after quite some time, I am back here at the Black Knight fight. I actually didn't make it in time this time. Um, I used all old cards, so you didn't really miss anything. I think I unlocked one token. Actually, no, I don't even think I did. Um, unfortunately, I had a situation where I sold off my old sword to buy a new one, and the inventory actually changed after I sold my sword. I was unable to buy anything. So, going at this with uh, just the base sword, base shield, Imperial armor, Will of the Emperor, portion of use doesn't really matter here. Um, oh, I can see my curses as well. Oh, what do I got? Yeah, Lone Wolf is unfortunate. Bad Wage makes me lose gold. Gremlins doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah. Now, I have silencers, but I do have the will of the Emperor, so hoping I can use that against them. Yeah, Lone Wolf is going to be a real pain here. Um, Estrella has been very useful throughout this, because she essentially just automatically knocks the target down, which means an instant kill. Uh, it certainly should be easier to an extent, so I will only have to fight, well, <laughs> looking at this group, maybe not. Um, I am going to use this right away. That, okay, that did not do what it was supposed to do at all. So, I guess it doesn't only target thieves, which really sucks. Unless these don't count as thieves. So, this is actually going to be way harder than I anticipated. I guess we'll try it again here in a second. Yep, that also did not hit a thief. Uh, so yeah, that's problematic. I was kind of relying on that to carry me through this, to be honest with you. So we'll see. I just need to get myself back in open space here. Because um, these are just going to be a pain. A lot of these cannot be dodged or countered. Let's try again. I think that might have hit uh, a thief. Hard to tell. Oh boy. Uh, I don't have a second win this time either, so that's gonna be a bit of a thing. Yeah, dude, is so fast. There we go. There's another zombie out of the way. Let's get ourselves into open spaces here. Wow. Oh, I hit a thief. Nope. Oh boy. It's, there's just so many enemies. And they have so much health compared to the damage I do. Yeah, that um, little issue with the sword is really coming into play here. Especially since I have one of my worst enemies against me at the moment. Maybe? Okay, so it can actually hit them, and they do count. It's just I've been really unlucky. <laughs> that's, that's a bummer. This damn armor is... Um, big pain. Yeah, I, 
It's hard to catch him on that second one. The timing of it's pretty weird. Tough fight, I no doubt about it. Especially with bad, uh, bad equipment. I kind of see when he's gonna do it a second time, but I feel like I don't have time to block. I get, I'm still in stagger. All right, one more zombie, then we can just focus on him. Does do armor damage to him. Not a lot. I feel like it staggers him also. Nope, certainly doesn't. Alright, there goes his armor. Doesn't have a ton of health. And I think he might be only on these attacks if we're in close range. Oh boy. I don't really like fighting him here on this uh, on this edge. I can probably sustain maybe one hit from him. Maybe two. I think he's going down. Yes! Oh man. That's that's a tough one. And that's even getting the better outcome. Silver clouds disperse around you as the Black Knight's body falls lifelessly to the floor. Gariel greets you warmly. You have freed us from a prison we thought eternal. Our gratitude shall be endless, warrior of fate. See why he's watching you, Iva sighs, says with a smile. While he is watching you, Harrow says grimly, we shall be plotting our revenge. The three siblings disappear in a cloud of gray and gold. Overcome with exhaustion, you look around for a comfortable place to make camp. You're surprised to see your bedroll already laid out beside a campfire, burning low. Gaze up at the night sky briefly before falling into a deep and untroubled sleep. Nice. All right. So for the silver tokens, we get. It begins to turn in your favor. We knew that because you are here. Nazgar's reckoning. The winds return. Band of faith. Kubrick's gaze. We also get the buckler as a. Fly, uh, for freeing the Watchers, for Malkin, Fate Stealing, Hunting Man, Purgatory, great. And we get the Gold Token as well, which gives us Forgotten Dreams. Ooh, that is another challenge complete. All right, and next time we, we will... the end of our tale. And here, true magic begins. Oh, there is another one that just got revealed. The been opened. Devil and Tower and Star got revealed. Also, there's maybe the final one. Them. But we'll take on Justice next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Big click like helps a ton. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.